Ladies and gentlemen, I have to be honest with you. If you tell me that a project is going to have somebody from the Breaking Bad cast in it, or that a crew member is involved with it, I'm checking it out. Call me biased. I'm a homer. Breaking Bad, I have kept no secret, is my favorite show of all time. I have such love in my heart for that show. And if I know that somebody's going to be involved in a project, I'm checking it out. I remember being at the Toronto International Film Festival and there was a movie called Eye in the Sky and everyone was excited because Helen Mirren was in it. Helen Mirren was in attendance. Somebody turned to me and said, hey, are you excited for Helen Mirren? I'm like, yeah, sure, but Aaron Paul's in it too. They're like, who? I'm like, what, you don't watch Breaking Bad? I remember checking out the Michael J. Fox show. I love Michael J. Fox, but Betsy Brandt is in this? Let's check it out. Let's see what's going to happen. I just love everything that they do and I want to check it out and support it. So, when you tell me that Bob Odenkirk's in a new movie, check. When you tell me that that's an action movie, check. When you tell me it's by the same guy that wrote the three John Wick movies, check, check, check. And then on top of that, it is directed by Ilya Neyshuler. The same Ilya Neyshuler who did the film Hardcore Henry, which went on to win the, the, top, uh, the top prize for the Midnight Madness category at TIFF several years ago. And if you haven't seen Hardcore Henry, check it out. So I am all in on this. So basically we've got Bob Odenkirk and he plays a character called Hutch. And Hutch is this guy who's living his normal suburban life when one day some people come and try to do a home invasion on him. He has the skills to right this wrong, but he doesn't. He hesitates. His neighbors are questioning why he hesitated. His own son's questioning why he hesitated. He just did. He just didn't pull the trigger. Anyways, shortly thereafter in the movie, he's on a bus. And then he sees some guys get on the bus and starting to bully people. And he can't take it anymore. And now he kicks in. Now, this movie is kind of like Taken, where we've got a guy who's got a special set of skills, but it's also like John Wick, where we've got a guy who's just not going to take it anymore and is going to lash at back at those people who are lashing out at him. The part of this movie that might not compute for a lot of people is Bob Odenkirk? With all due respect, Better Call Saul is not the first person I think of when I think of an action star, but that's why this works. This works because they have basically taken somebody that you wouldn't think would be an action star and turned him into one. This accomplishes a couple of different things. First of all, it shows us that Odenkirk has that range to play this type of character. It also shows us that Nay Schuler's turn in Hardcore Henry was not a fluke. And we also see that the guy who wrote John Wick has a certain recipe that he can go back to again and again. And if it's working, why not? This is an entertaining film. We've got, a, we've got a good supporting cast, but it's really Odenkirk that shines through this film. I was very impressed with the fact that he was able to carry this material and carry it to the point that I found myself very entertained with it. Nobody is a film that you should definitely check out. It is a film that you are going to enjoy. And after you check that out, do yourself a favor and go check out Hardcore Henry as well if you haven't already seen it. I really like Nobody. I thought it was fun. I thought uh, I thought it was witty. I thought it was smart. Um, I thought it was very, very entertaining. And I think it's during these times, if you're looking for something to dial up in the endless supply of titles, if you stop at Nobody, you're not going to be disappointed. I give this movie a B. I'm uh, excited to, to chat with you about it. So if you have a chance to see it, let me know what you think. CFL underscore fan on Twitter. Facebook.com slash witty wittier and witty wittier.com. Thank you so much for checking this out. My name is Keith, and I'll see you at the movies.